Alright guys, welcome back to the Actalon Gaming Channel, my name is Actalon and today we are gonna continue our slaughtering run the anti-pacifist run and since uh, I want to hunt for uh, what was it? what are they names named? <laughs> shipwreck, treasure chest floating wreckage, yes that's what I want I decided to take you with me on the journey through Tanaris, where we will hunt for rugged leather, which we need 12 of. Uh, hopefully, we can get enough, or even more than that. The more we get, the better we get. Do so. We are more or less fishing today, <laughs> gathering materials, of course. In other words as we tend to do for our preparations it will be our last armor until we reach something new in Outland so I believe it would be of great importance to us all that we take what we get we are 10 levels away from the maximum classic level so it's in my best interest I emptied a little bit my bags, I keep only the uh, Dark Moon Fire Water, which we can use later on and perfectly, speaking of which we wanted let's put on the fishing pole and fish out these things uh, while we do that, we might as well talk about some stuff like I said, uh, there was a large deconstruction yesterday on my place so I couldn't really record, I was done at like 10 p.m. with the deconstructions I could theoretically also show the room so you can actually see it for yourself oh, only tick letter I do not like that we need more of that uh, rag leather and it took me mirror up so I went just to sleep afterwards so if you think like you could have recorded afterwards yeah how about that <laughs> not really not really I hope I fixed the audio as best as I could uh, I don't know if there is an echo right now since I already recorded the episode with Iron Man more healing potions okay Oof. Nothing cooked. Interesting. <laughs> In the last episode, we talked about Twitch streamers, girls getting harassed by their viewers. I believe uh, we can focus here right now a little bit better on it because we are not really doing anything else. But I'm gonna take a look if there is maybe. Uh, a better version to get to this rugged leather because right now it sucks give me a moment guys well guys there is no better option so we might as well suffer together <laughs> the chances of it uh, dropping is 33% and the other options are in dungeon or by being a skinner or buying it from an auction house auction house is bad of course so we have to suffer <laughs> I suppose that is just fair it's usually a material for level 55 and higher which just makes sense at least we have our mount and we can just run around this beach and get the mitral bound chests If we get the uh, lost wreckages. <laughs> so, I mentioned again the Twitch streamers being harassed by their viewers. And it is truly disturbing because, like I said in the previous episode, it's uh, not a way to get anything from a girl to harass her with. Oh, yes, you could do that and that to my genitalia that's not how you do it boys never will it work 
And do trust me, I have been perhaps a little bit like that in the past. A curious young man that taught the woman would uh, be just as the same way as males when it comes down to uh, fun intercourse. But of course, I was wrong. Should be an ear school. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I don't see any floating wreckage. The way to do it is actually by showing that you are just as much as a human being as they are. Oh, fight. Fight is this what you want, hey? So, um, what I'm kind of trying to say again here is that you should not pretend that you are like this super cool uh, over the top man no just be you and I said it a, actually a lot of times that lying about yourself uh, does not give you any special kind of treatment the lies will go out again and you will be seen as a liar in the future and it will give you a bad rap and a bad rap means people won't like you that much you need to think about your reputation when it comes to uh, certain stuff as your life goes on uh, nothing there, bummer what the bomber? Another one here? No, that's a school. Okay. A swarm. I'm sorry. They have swarms, they don't have schools. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about going. Yeah, we have to go through this. So, if you think that uh, by sending your screwdriver to the other girl, or any girl will get you somewhere oh boy you are up for a treat no it won't it will get you blocked that's the biggest thing you will get from her big old block and maybe you will become a laughing stop if your uh, screwdriver is smaller than others ah come on run So it might actually work against you, which you were trying to do. And before you say, but there are some girls that, no, there are not. There aren't. There are no girls that would like this treatment. And if they like it, then they are probably catfishing you, lad. <coughs> or gold digging you, depends on. How wealthy you look. <laughs> still known, still none. Ay, 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 ay. What about? Me? I should also check if, uh, if it's I'm recording or not. Yes, I am good. So we also debated on, uh, debated. I uh, spoke about certain circumstances where. Uh, how you should that you shouldn't be ashamed about what you are and again I'm gonna advertise for that if you are a VEEP then you still have the same chances to get a girl to like you especially if you don't behave like a disgusting idiot don't, sh don't send your screwdrivers as the first message that doesn't give you a good reputation <coughs> Just talk to that last, try to find out who she is and what she likes <laughs> and what she dislikes. I mean, seriously, it's a, it's a no-brainer. You don't uh, just, shouldn't see her just for her body. Sure, there are uh, occasions where uh, many people look just for the bodies, such as uh, parties. But let's be honest, even there you talk, 
Even that you have to add get engage and conversation. <coughs> you are not going home with any girl if you don't engage uh, engage her with something to talk her to her and present your ideas or kind of uh, this personality. There are also uh, well introverted versions for this kind of dating, which is the one I stand known, obviously. And <laughs> that's I believe uh, called Tinder nowadays. Uh, for same uh, for same gender wise, it's I believe Grinder, but also Tinder, but. <laughs> It's uh, like I said, it's never uh, useful to show her your uh, wee little screwdriver before you actually meet her or met her and know her a little bit. And if you go on Twitch where you are public, yes, you heard me right, you are public there. There are th dozens of people that see you and your behavior. And do you know what happens when uh, she sees that? Everyone sees that. Everyone is gonna uh, give you the bad reputation because if this continues, then uh, males will have an incre incredibly hard time uh, getting anything <laughs> in terms of women. Because every woman will think of men as those simple idiots that just type in a chat uh, that they would do some s some stuff to this girl so what we will get is a, <laughs> a culture where women will think they will get away with everything and for no price at all Which is uh, completely wrong. Not to mention, uh, males will have much less chances of uh, actually getting a date. So, if you think uh, that you will have a bigger chance, no, you will even have a less chance. If your chance right now is uh, 0 0.01, it's not gonna be zero, z <laughs> it's gonna be even less than that. It's gonna be probably 0 0.00001% chance that you get an, on a date because with that bad reputation that you show off on uh, public places, oh boy, oh boy. The other thing that uh, you should do if you want a date with a girl is take fucking care of yourself. Because if you smell like shit, no one is gonna be want to be around you. I believe that's a, a no-brainer as well. Oof. Come on. I can take your own. <coughs> so, a real piece of my. <coughs> advice is just to calm down and start being a human being that takes care of itself and why taking care of yourself is important uh, it's because it gives out the vibe that you actually like yourself because <coughs> this is something that uh, Eddie Murphy said once I believe it was him uh, if you're not gonna love yourself how can you say that you love others? I believe that was uh, 2014 when he said uh, this sentence and it was on TV actually oh come on this was too early uh, and I, I agree with that you cannot really say that you feel something for someone if you don't know how it feels you need to first learn how to enjoy yourself, love yourself and I might even go ahead and put some uh, YouTube uh, like semi gurus or advice givers when it comes down to women because 
uh, if it wouldn't be for YouTube, I would actually never find the knowledge that I have nowadays. The fact that I can speak to you about it and actually make some points. Uh, no, 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 so things, thank you. And it's not that I made it up, right? I don't make that stuff up, never. I don't have to. I uh, don't see it as a good thing to make stuff up. It's basically the same as lying. <coughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna put some uh, down into the descriptions as a recommendation for what you can watch in order to increase your chances with the woman. And it doesn't matter how you look. It really doesn't. At the end, it uh, really goes down to who you are in terms of personality. Ooh. Still no rugged leather. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm really guessing I will have to find that out of camera. This looks nice. Oh, it's like this small crown. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what can we say about it uh, as well. The other thing that you kind of need to work on, if you are a person like that uh, does this thing, well, overall, if you want to increase your odds uh, in finding a woman to go on a date with you is self-esteem, right? Meet face? Oh, this quest of NPC. Uh, because it does matter how you believe in yourself. Because how you believe in yourself will be seen from the other person that you are trying to impress. Having a healthy self-esteem is good. I'm not saying go <laughs> overboard with it. Because having an overly, over the top Self-esteem is just as bad as having no self-esteem. No one likes that. And I see a rare. I kill the rare. <laughs> I did one fight, fight him already. Oh. Oh yeah, he has blink. I forgot that. Nope. <laughs> He's actually a simple NPC. He is basically an arcane mage. You can kill off easily. He got some legends of quick weight, a leather piece, nice. Not useful for us. Um, yeah, now let's go back to the, what I was saying. Uh, I myself uh, was back in the days uh, someone who didn't believe in himself. I thought a lot low a lo about myself. Back in the days when I was uh, a real piece of shit, and I really needed some time to actually start thinking about it, and someone who got me out of this kind of uh, bad thinking, which was uh, at the end of the story. Uh, like I said already, I believe in the past, it was one of my higher ups in the uh, a work where I enjoyed it really much. So, <laughs> it's really kind of difficult to talk about it for me because it kind of goes, in my beliefs, into a little bit of my own issues that I had in the past. And I like to stay away from the past because, not because uh, it would be something I would be uh, ashamed of, but I'm not really proud of it and. I tend to believe that if there is something in the past that is not law f against the law, then you should just let it go and let it stay in the past. It's not uh, any use to let it dwell on on the presence because it will keep uh, getting you back and back and back, and you will never get out of it. You really need to let the past rest as long as it's not against the law or 
something that you should be ashamed of. Right? Good. <laughs> uh, come on. Stop swinging, swimming so badly. Oof. Yeah, I guess uh, almost off the shore. Gonna use my jump there. Hello, oppa! <laughs> and yeah, that was 20 minutes. I'm gonna check this one out. Yes, it's a floating wreckage. And I will see if there is some uh, goodies. But we might be a little bit in a stuck position here. <laughs> I'm I'm sure that we will go next time again something leveling and work on something uh, better than this because I really tr I would like to keep this one these things uh, off screen because it's not really that interesting. But I figured since I wanna talk about this, I might as well talk about it on camera. Alright, I will see you next time. Stay awesome, because that is what you are. And if you need help, ask for it. It's not something that you should be ashamed of. <laughs>